why we took our kids to Spain for education. Now, I'll be honest with you, we set this up in 2007 um, because we already had plans when we were having kids. This is where we were heading, not to Spain, but to Europe. Spain's come about because of the state of the EU and financially Spain is ideal for me to drop into, buy property, build up a rental market, earn, it, earn money in the UK, etc., etc. It's, it's, it's in the right financial state uh, for the way we build things up. Because I, I received negativity on, why are you going to spend your economies down the toilet? Because I don't rely on the Spanish economy. Um, the tourism side is buoyant. I took a place that's been here as a village originally. But the fact is, where we live is a tourist destination, regardless of what's going on in the economy. If anybody can afford to get on a cheap holiday, they'll be coming here. <coughs> but education. Philippines, when you look at it, if you want out of the country, you're either a nurse or a engineer. You work on the ships. If you look at the fact that doctors actually go and retrain as nurses to get out of the country, then you can already see that the quality of training can't be that high, otherwise you'd be in demand. Um, so the fact is, already the goals have been lowered, uh, sorry, standards are lowered because the nurses are higher value than the doctor. That's not, that's not uh, my opinion, but if that's the case, well, you know, because there's a shortage of doctors everywhere. The UK has got a lot of doctors from India on a regular basis. Um, I know doctors that are actually flown in every two weeks to work in the UK because of the shortage. But um, you've got that problem where the education isn't going to be that good. Culturally, the education system doesn't enhance people's thoughts. Um, the peer pressure is always about accepting what you're told, etc. I'm not for that. And I know most schools are driving people's down, the people down. They don't want creativity. Creativity is not good for business. Uh, creativity is uh, a bad thing. Corp the, this in the corporate world. I'm not about the way I think. <laughs> but in Spain, okay, I'm still expecting some of that, but what you have is a school they're going to there's 30 different languages which means multiculturally you've got so many different things going on to absorb that information as a child you've also got the fact that you're multilingual because the kids already speak english and sabuano they're already well on the way to speaking spanish uh, my daughter had uh, put a piece of paper in her ear and we had to get it you know, hold her down while the doctor removed it with a pair of um, uh, artery forceps. And she was actually shouting in Spanish, hell. <laughs> because they're already embracing the language. My son practices every night. He goes out in the street, he shouted, hola. You know, he's, he's already embracing the culture, the language skills. Now in Europe, if you pick up Spanish, picking up, picking up French and German won't be far behind because they already have two languages. Once they have the third one, the Spanish. Um, French, I get confused myself on French because there's so many similarities between Spanish and French. Um, because I did a fair bit of French before I did Spanish. And then I get the confusion on the numbering, for example, because the, you start getting confused on which numbers are which because you already know one set and you're wondering which one was the Spanish one and which one's the French. Because Anyway, but the fact is they'll be multilingual. <clears throat> Philippine passport doesn't get you very far. Um, an EU passport opens most of the world to you. And that's why the EU passport is important. Social networks, social networks like my daughter in the UK began with a primary school that was based where there's a lot of people that are financially and network wise well connected, their parents. There they're going to be the next generation. 
in Spain, because Spain is on a recovery, a lot of these kids' parents are already networked in Spain, but also as the economy develops, you're going to have the next generation, which are going to be the kids that are already embraced and uh, studied with as kids. Um, because in Spain, you've got a lot of Russians coming in, you've got a lot of Chinese, you've got a lot of that network is developing. I know people are thinking, well, you know, they, they're only there temporary. No, they're not. They are the next generation. So being multilingual and the having the opportunities that a new passport gives you um, is huge. In the Philippines, the education system doesn't encourage you to learn. It encourages you to follow what you're told. Um, and it doesn't think out of the box. because It becomes very processed. And the problem with processes, as I get frustrated with the corporate world I work in at the moment, they don't work all the time. And then when you try to get them fixed or changed or try to say, here's a suggestion, people don't want to listen because the fact is, that's the process. And that's the mentality you get from schools. Um, that bit, I'm, I don't want the kids having. It, it's all right to conform because you have to do it. But at the same time, you say, right, this just took me two hours. But you know, if we did it this way, it don't take five minutes. That way, you actually say, I've done it. But shouldn't you really be doing it this way? It is a suggestion. That is forward thinking. But it's also how you become the next business. Because I work in the FM industry. And I see so much money wasted uh, by inefficiency. Um, and I know how to fix most of it. And the hard bit is getting people to listen. And if people don't listen long enough, um, eventually I'll start doing it myself and set up my own company. Because I can make a fortune by saving people money. But anyway, you've got this process going on where the kids are getting the language skills. They're getting the passport. They're getting clean air, which may not sound like a big thing, but the Philippines is still not sorting out its pollution issues. Um, the, the medical um, levels are there. I mean, like I said, my daughter with her ear, okay, I paid for it private, but at the same time, the quality of the guy was uh, fantastic. The first doctor was abysmal, but the second one was fantastic. He, he literally just grabbed it like that and, you know, he knew what he was doing, <laughs> but that's from um, a skilled um, professional. In the Philippines, you often often find people aren't skilled professionals, but they tell you that they are, or they're sold as being on the monetary value. So this is why Europe's important for the kids. I think we'll be in Spain for a bit. We'll be buying apartments here, but I think we'll be traveling up to France and into Germany later. Because um, if the kids have got Spanish, French, and German as language skills, as well as English and Sawano, um, and understand the same values I have, then they're going to get ahead in life, regardless of what they decide to do. Um, I'm tempted to even start teaching the kids things like Excel. Um, because if you understand, because I started on computers when I was six, so which is why I'm very computer savvy but the, the fact is the kids could actually start doing that now but no games get rid of all that nonsense focused on getting rich and i say getting rich because there's so many things out there people just don't don't do or can't do anymore um because processes have been introduced um which is why things like pascal language is still being used by some companies but people that understand it and can program it are very hard to locate these days and they're not cheap and this is the whole point because even in video games they're introducing engines to make life easier um, but if you can understand it at an early age and go through um, some of this specific software or get to a level in Excel even where it becomes a second language to you you're ahead of most people because most people can't do it not to not to a very high standard level.
but yeah, that's why we're in Europe. Um, it's just the opportunity is there for the kids. You know, if I was single, I'd still be in the Philippines probably. Um, if I was just me and the wife, I would still be in Europe. Um, because I promised my wife we'd go to Europe in 2007, and that's why we're here. Um, the family is everything, you know. I promised my wife. See, the thing is, I look at things from a different perspective than many people. Because I don't look at what I've seen in the world. I look to see how my wife would see it with her own eyes. So, if I'm standing over the Grand Canyon, it doesn't mean anything unless my wife stood next to me looking at it. Because that is the moment where it's, you know, it's a pinnacle thing. Um, I remember my niece, we took my, I took my niece to Disney World before. And she's quite a quiet child. Well, obviously she's an adult, but she was quite a quiet child. Um, had quite a difficult upbringing. <coughs> not, not in a violence way or anything like that. Just, uh, she's quite a detached child, you know. It's friendly enough, but it's, you know, like you could see that she didn't, you know, she didn't smile enough. <laughs> Uh, but we're on the um, the old tugboat going over to the Disney castle. We just come across one another this another area. Kids are like tired. Got my daughter there as well, and they've been running around all day because it's, it's like Disney World today mapped it all out. We're like rush this one, this one, this one, flying around the place, and so they're set. You know, they're just like oh, that relaxing moment. But then, as the boat turned around to look straight at the Disney castle, um, it was a moment where you just see that big smile on the kids' faces as like a childhood dream had just been, uh, well, they just seen their childhood dream. That's a defining moment for me. Those things are more important than the stuff I see because um, I see a lot of stuff all the time, but it's not about me you enjoy it more as a family um, and that's why these these things like coming to Europe are very very important because the kids will develop I can rest easy that when I'm not here my kids have had the best opportunities in life to push themselves forward I've done everything I could do um, but also when I take them to Germany for Christmas when we um, go into France again um, and experience all these different things in different countries, different environments, that these are memories they'll always have. But also they they can actually understand that there's more to life than work, there's more to life than um, becoming a slave to a desk. Get better educated so you don't have to work as long and as hard as others. Thanks for watching.